My name is Joseph Mena. I'm a medallic artist at the United States Mint, Philadelphia. Um, typically the way the design process will start is we will begin um, a drawing in a two-dimensional stage and uh, we draw it right here in software in, uh, in Photoshop on this um, graphics tablet. It's called a, a, it's produced by a company called Wacom. It's a, it's a two-dimensional monitor but it actually just like a, an iPad you can draw right on the screen and, and interactively um, you know, work on your drawing. We'll take that two-dimensional drawing into this three-dimensional uh, sculpting software. This one um, is called Freeform. And as you see, I have the, the two-dimensional drawing imported to my uh, sculpting software on, on a, on a three-dimensional plane. And through that, I will sculpt my actual model using the, using the drawing itself as a guide. And not only can I can I sculpt and carve this as if it was actually a piece of clay, or or if it was made out of plaster, um, this this device provides me with force feedback like a video game controller. So wherever I touch on the screen, I can actually feel it um, through the device in, in in my hand. So it's it's a very um, intuitive approach to sculpture. That's a haptic device. Yes, it's it's uh, it's uh, the, this device is called a phantom arm, uh, a phantom desktop rather. It's and uh, everything that we use is commercially available. It's just it's all the different software that we use in tandem with one another is, is what we consider proprietary. Right? <laughs> And then we have other sculpting software packages that we use in tandem with this to generate uh, more detail and, and different different types of sculptural effects. And then after we're finished at this stage, there's an entire engineering process where everything um, goes to uh, in order to make things manu in order to make it so we can manufacture these things. And that's pretty much it. Okay.